Hello, Trung N. Oh, sorry, hello, Tuan N. Are you there? Yes, I'm here. All right. So, how are you, buddy? I'm fine, thank you. Sorry? I'm fine, thank you. All right. Uh, I'm doing great as well. Thanks for asking. All right. So, you're in the kitchen again? <laughs> you stay in the kitchen? Yes. I see. And why do you stay there? Unlike because, before. Uh -huh. Yeah, in the living room, my grandmother. Uh -huh. Sorry, your grandmother is. Watch, watching TV. Ah, she is watching TV. Oh, I see. And that area is silent. Is quiet there. Yes. I see. I see. That's why you're there. All right. Okay, Tuan Ang, last time we have test, right? Do you remember? Yes. Okay. Uh, I'm still checking it. I'm going to send it maybe today or tomorrow. All right. But for the meantime, we're going back to our topic with listening skill. All right. Mm. So let me just get the material so that we can do it now. Okay. So overall, you did great with the test, so you don't have to worry, okay? Okay. All right, all right. So now let us go now to speaking, but I mean listening. So let me share my screen. Can you see my screen? Yes, I see. Okay, good. So the same thing, um, this is very easy, the same method. All right. So let us just read some vocabulary here. Okay, let's read it. Soft. Soft. Light. Light. Back ache. Back ache. Not H. Ache. Ache. Good. Band. Band. Travel agents. Travel agent. Okay, good. Can you read the, the definition of each word? Travel agent. Oh, no. Soft. Uh, the definition, the meaning. Changing. Changing shape easily when dresses. Not stiff and firm. Okay. Light. Easy to live and move. No. Way very much. Uh huh. Up and up. Cameras stand in the back. And a small group of musicians to play popular music together, often with a singer of Okay, next. Travel agent, a shop, a store where you can go to arrange a holiday, vacation, or vacation. vacation. Etc. Can you read it, et cetera? Yes. yes. Okay, uh, let's start now our, our class. So this is very easy with questions one to five. You know this? You will hear five short conversations. You will hear each conversation twice. There is one question for each conversation. For questions one to five, put a tick under the right answer. All right? Okay. So let's start. So listen first, Tuan Ang, and take note of the answer. And if you're finished, let's continue. All right? Now we are ready to... Can you hear it? Yes. Okay, good. Start. Look at question one. 
One. When did Gary start his new job? Hello, Gary. I haven't seen you since March. Hi, Jane. No, I've been busy with my new job. Really? When did you start that? May. I left my last job in April. Now listen again. Hello, Gary. I haven't seen you since March. Hi, Jane. No, I've been busy with my new job. Really? When did you start that? May. I left my last job in April. Two. What time does the film start? Hello, Odeon Cinema. Could you tell me what time the film starts, please? Certainly. There are two screenings, one at 4.30 and the other at 7. Thank you very much. Now listen again. Hello, Odeon Cinema. Could you tell me what time the film starts, please? Certainly. There are two screenings, one at 4.30 and the other at 7. Thank you very much. Three. What was the weather like on Saturday? Did you have good weather at the beach at the weekend? Yes, it was sunny all weekend. Wasn't it windy, too? Only on Sunday. Now listen again. Did you have good weather at the beach at the weekend? Yes, it was sunny all weekend. Wasn't it windy, too? Only on Sunday. Four. Which motorway will they take? I've put the luggage in the car. Can we leave now? OK. We'll go on the M6 motorway. Isn't it faster on the M1 and then the M62? Yes, usually, but there's been an accident on the M1, so I don't want to go that way. Now listen again. I've put the luggage in the car. Can we leave now? OK. We'll go on the M6 motorway. Isn't it faster on the M1 and then the M62? Yes, usually, but there's been an accident on the M1, so I don't want to go that way. Five. Which book does Lorna want? Have you finished studying yet, Lorna? No, not yet. Could you give me that book, please? Which one? There are three here. This one on the sofa? No, the one on the chair next to the sofa, please. Now listen again. Have you finished studying yet, Lorna? No, not yet. Could you give me that book, please? Which one? There are three here. This one on the sofa? No, the one on the chair next to the sofa, please. This is the end of part one. All right, Wen Eng, do you have answers already for the five? Yes. Okay, good. So let us start answering. Uh, can you read the question number one and tell me your answer? When did Gary start his new job? May. Your answer is May. The correct answer is? Now we are ready to start. May, very good. Look. Next. What time does the film start? Uh -huh. Let's say, like, A, 40, B, Hello, Tuan Ang, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Okay, so it's letter A, 4.30 and 7 o'clock. Okay, for number three. What, what was this? 
Weather. What was the weather, not weather? What was the weather? Can you say it again? What was the weather? Okay, your answer is letter B. Good job. And number four. Which motorway will they touch with it? Just the M62. M62. Okay, uh, the correct answer is M6. Okay, M6 is the correct answer. And last number five. Can you read the question number five? Hello? Hello, Twin Ang? Yes. Can you hear me? All right. Can you read number five? Yes. Which group goes to Long Mawan, Mosalit, and A on the okay. chair? Very good. So that is that A on the chair. Good job. Nice one, uh, Twin Ang, for answering it correctly. Now let's go to the next part. Okay, we're going to listen to Sue talking to a friend about her new clothes. Why did Sue decide to buy each thing? For questions six to 10, write a letter A to H to each person. You will hear the conversation twice. Okay, are you ready, Twin Ang? Yes, I'm ready. All right. So before that, let us read the words here. Jacket. Dress, sweater. Sweater, not sweater. Sweater. Okay, good. Coat. And t-shirt. Coat and t-shirt. Next. Big. T-shirt. Big. Big. Cheap. Expensive. Expensive again. Expensive. Okay, Light. Good. Long. Purple. Short. Short. Okay, so let's start listening. Now look at part two. Listen to Sue talking to a friend about her new clothes. Why did Sue decide to buy each thing? For questions six to ten, write a letter A to H next to the clothes. You will hear the conversation twice. Hi, Sue. Have you been to the shops? Yes. I had some money for my birthday, so I decided to buy some clothes. I love those purple jeans. Yes. I bought them because purple is my favorite color. I got a new jacket, too. My old one is too small, so I bought this lovely big one. It's really great. Did you buy a dress? I got this one because it was only nine pounds. Oh, that's not expensive. <coughs> then I got a sweater to wear with my jeans. Oh, it's lovely and soft. <laughs> that's why I bought it. Anything else? A coat. The long one I have is too big and heavy, but this one is really light. Did you buy a short white t-shirt like mine? Well, I bought a long white one. I'll wear it more often than a short one. Now listen again. Hi, Sue. Have you been to the shops? Yes. I had some money for my birthday, so I decided to buy some clothes. I love those purple jeans. Yes. I bought them because purple is my favorite color. I got a new jacket, too. My old one is too small, so I bought this lovely big one. It's really great. Did you buy a dress? I got this one because it was only nine pounds. Oh, that's not expensive. Then I got a sweater to wear with my jeans. Oh, it's lovely and soft. <laughs> That's why I bought it. Anything else? A coat. The long one I have is too big and heavy, but this one is really light. 
Did you buy a short white T-shirt like mine? Well, I bought a long white one. I'll wear it more often than a short one. All right, um, Tuan Ang, do you have answers this or do you want to listen one more two. time? Okay, let's listen one more time. Now look at part yeah, two. You mean you have answers? Yes, I will send it in chat. Oh, okay, okay. All right, so can you describe each of it? Um, and start with dress, oh, sorry, with jacket. The jacket is a big jacket. Okay, she bought a big jacket. What's the reason why? <laughs> because she likes color. Mm, the color. Like, she likes the color, it's purple. <laughs> I mean, yeah. But more to that information is that she, what, the one that she has, is small, so she needs a big one. So good job. So that's now look a. at part two. Okay, uh, let's go to number seven. Dress. Your answer is letter. Letter B. Chip. Okay, that's correct. Good. Listen to Sue talking to a friend about her new clothes. Okay, for number eight. Your answer is that the letter eight soft. Soft. Okay, Why did Sue eight. decide to buy each okay, thing? Great. So nice one. What about number nine about the coat? There's a little light. Okay. So that the D light. Good job. And last number 10 shirt. Okay. Okay. Um, let's say letter E. Long. Okay. She bought a long T-shirt. Okay. Great. Nice one, Tuan Ang. Give me a high five. You get a perfect score here. Nice one, buddy. Now let's try to read the script here. Okay. Um, I will be the friend, and you will be Sue. Okay. So let's start. Hi, Sue. Have you been to the shops? Yes, I have some money for my birthday, so I decided to buy some clothes. Not to buy, to buy. To buy some clothes. Clothes, okay, good. I love those purple jeans. Yes, I bought them because purple is my favorite color. I got a new jacket too. My old one is too too small. So I bought this lovely big one. It's really great. Did you buy a dress? I got this because it got only nine pounds. Again, I got this one because it was only nine pounds. I got this one because it was only nine pounds. Nine pounds. Nine pounds. That's not expensive. Then I got the sweater to not wear. Not sweater, sweater. Sweater to wear with my jeans. Okay, read that again. Then I got. Then I got a sweater to wear with my jeans. It's lovely and soft. That, that is my. That's I why. That's why I bought it. I bought it. I bought it. Anything else? A coat. The long one I have is too big and heavy, but it was a green light. Did you buy a short white t-shirt like night? No, oh, I read my part again. <laughs> Read uh, Sue a coat. No, a coat. The long one I have is too big and heavy, but this one is very light. Really light. Really light. Did you buy a short white t-shirt like mine? 
Well, I bought a long white one, a wheel with is more often than a short one. Okay, again, well, I bought a long white one. I'll wear it more often than a short one. Can you say that? Can you read that again? Well, I bought a long white one. I will wear it more often than a short one. Okay, good. Nice one. Um, and now let's go to this part, 11 to 15. We're going to listen to Jen talking to Steve about getting a student travel card. For questions 11 to 15, tick A, B, or C. You will hear the conversation twice. Okay. Ready, Twane? Okay, sure, sure. Okay, I'm here. All right. So let's start. Okay. So listen carefully to an end, then we're going to listen one more time. Okay. Take note of your answers and the details. Okay. Don't forget. Now listen to the conversation. Hi, Steve. Hi, Jan. I'm going to go to London on the train. Come with me. But it's cheaper by bus. I've got a student travel card. You can get cheap train tickets with it. Well, that sounds good. How much does it cost? A card for six months is £16. So how do I get one? You need some photographs. One for the card and one for the form. Oh. There's a photo machine in the post office. It gives you four photos for £3. So does the one in the library. But I went to a photographer's shop. It was cheaper. I don't have to show my passport or my driving license, do I? That's right, Jan. You only need a letter from your college. I'll ask my teacher for one. And then you take hey, everything to the tour no. office by the travel agents. Great. Next time you go to London, I'll come too. Now listen again. Hi, Steve. Hi, Jan. I'm going to go to London on the train. Come with me. But it's cheaper by bus. I've got a student travel card. You can get cheap train tickets with it. Well, that sounds good. How much does it cost? A card for six months is £16. So how do I get one? You need some photographs. One for the card and one for the form. Oh. There's a photo machine in the post office. It gives you four photos for £3. So does the one in the library. But I went to a photographer's shop. It was cheaper. I don't have to show my passport or my driving license, do I? That's right, Jan. You only need a letter from your college. I'll ask my teacher for one. And then you take everything to the tourist office by the travel agents. Great. Next time you go to London, I'll come too. This is the end of part three. Hey, are you here? Okay. 
Okay. Thank you. Hello, Tuanang. Can you hear me? All right. Sorry about that. I had to go to the toilet quickly. Okay, do you have answers now? Yes, answer. All right. Yeah, thank you for that. So I want you to read it carefully. Uh, can you read number 11, please? 11, how much is a travel car? Okay, your answer is 16 pounds. The correct answer here is? Okay, good job. That is that would be. Okay, and for number 12, read it, please. Can we meet my father to see? For oh. photos. Okay, so four photos. The correct answer for 12 is actually just one photo. Okay, number 13, read it. Photos are less expensive than they would be in your library. Okay. Actually, it's in the photographer shop, not in the library. Okay. You got two mistakes already. <laughs> okay, try to read number 14. But the travel cut can must take my like be the password. A letter. 15. Jan can get a travel card for mentality A for college. Letter C, the tourist office. Is that your cat? Yes. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> the black cat, the MBVN, nope. MBNVN. In here, the stupid stupid fat cat. Oh, that's so cute! Wow. No, no. I mean, sorry. that's it's so no. noisy. <laughs> 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 so that's color green. That's great. That looks fun. Okay. Uh, Tren Tren Ang, we have to listen one more time here because. You have a lot of mistakes, okay? okay? So I want you to get the details on why the answers are like that. I want you to explain to me, okay? okay. So we're going to listen to this one like twice. Listen carefully, okay? Thank you. Now listen to the conversation. Hi, Steve. Hi, Jan. I'm going to go to London on the train. Now listen to the conversation. Hi, Steve. Hi, Jan. I'm going to go to London on the train. Come with me. But it's cheaper by bus. I've got a student travel card. You can get cheap train tickets with it. Well, that sounds good. How much does it cost? A card for six months is £16. So how do I get one? You need some photographs. One for the card and one for the form. Oh. There's a photo machine in the post office. It gives you four photos for £3. So does the one in the library. But I went to a photographer's shop. It was cheaper. I don't have to show my passport or my driving license, do I? That's right, Jan. You only need a letter from your college. I'll ask my teacher for one. And then you take everything to the tourist office by the travel agents. Great. Next time you go to London, I'll come too. Now listen again. Hi, Steve. Hi, Jan. I'm going to go to London on the train. Come with me. But it's cheaper by bus. I've got a student travel card. You can get cheap train tickets with it. Well, that sounds good. How much does it cost? 
A card for six months is £16. So how do I get one? You need some photographs. One for the card and one for the form. Oh. There's a photo machine in the post office. It gives you four photos for three pounds. So does the one in the library. But I went to a photographer's shop. It was cheaper. I don't have to show my passport or my driving licence, do I? That's right, Jan. You only need a letter from your college. I'll ask my teacher for one. And then you take everything to the tourist office by the travel agents. Great. Next time you go to London, I'll come too. All right. So did you understand? This the, is the end of part. Did you understand now to an end the conversation? Yes. Yes. All right. So you got a correct answer that the travel card is just for 16 pounds, but they just need to have one photo. And your answer is four photo, photos because um, when, you when you get a photo from the post office, they will give you four. Okay, do you understand? Okay. So that's why you thought that it was only four. And of course, when you heard that, you thought that, that the photos are from the library, but he said that I got mine from the library, but I heard that the photographer's shop, it's cheaper. So it's the letter A. All right. And they said that for a travel card, they talk about like, do we need to get like our passport or license? No, just a letter. Okay. And they can get the travel card from the tourist office. Do you understand now, Twan Ang? Yes. Okay, so try to listen more carefully and uh, yeah, carefully, all right? Mm -hmm. So let's try to read the conversation. Uh, you will be John and I will be Steve. Okay. Hi, Steve. Hi, Jen. I'm going to go to the London. Sorry, hi, Jen. I'm going to go to London on the train. Come with me. But it's cheaper by bus. I've got a student travel card. You can get cheap train tickets with it. That's not good. How much does it cost? A card for six months is 16 pounds. So how I get one? So how do I get one? So okay. You need some photographs. One for the card and one for the form. Oh, there's a photo machine in the post office. It gives you four photos or three pounds. Or three pounds. So does the one in the library. But I went to a photographer's shop. It was cheaper. So, does uh, I don't have to. I don't have to show my passport or my diving license. Do I? Do I? Do I? That's right, John. You only need a letter from your college. I will ask my teacher for one. And then you take everything to the tourist office by the travel agents. Great. Next time you go to London, I will come too. All right. So let's try to read this one again. Twin Ang. Um, I will be John, then you will be Steve. All right. Okay. Hi. Oh, sorry, you continue. You should tell what I'm saying. Uh, I, it's me. Hi, Steve. Hi, Jen. I'm going to I'm going to go, go to London on the train. Come with me. But it's cheaper by a bus. I have well, I've got a student travel card. You can get cheap train tickets with it. That sounds good. How much does it cost? A card for six months is six Six pounds. months. So, how do I get one? You need some photographs, one for the card and one 
photo machine. Oh, there's a photo machine in the post office. It gives you four photos for three pounds. So there's the one in the library, but I went to a photographer's shop. It was cheaper. I don't have to show my passport or driving license, do I? That's right. That's right. That's right. Jane, you only need a letter from your college. I will ask my teacher for one. And then you take everything to the tourist office by the travel agents. Okay, I wait a minute. It should be the, I'll ask my teacher for one. <laughs> All right, they're going back. I'll ask my teacher for one. I will ask my teacher for That's one. That's mine. You should be Steve. Okay. I'll okay. ask my teacher for one. And then you take everything to the tourist office. Tourist, not tourist. Tourist. Tourist by the travel agents. Great. Next time you go to London, I'll come too. All right, it's a nice one, uh, Twin Ang. We still have time, so we can still answer this part. So six into twenty, you will hear a man speaking on a telephone. Listen and complete questions sixteen to twenty. All right. Mm -hmm. Sorry, they provided the answer. Okay, just a second. I just need to edit it out. Just a second. Yeah, okay. Meow. Meow. Just a minute, one eh? I'll be fast. Yes. Okay, Benang. So this is the listening. So let's get started. Now look at part four. You will hear a man speaking on the telephone. Listen and complete question 16 to 20. You will hear the conversation twice. What our school? Can I help you? Hello. Can I leave a message for Mr. Brown, please? Yes, of course. What's your name? David Graham. Could you spell your surname for me, please? Yes. It's G... R A H A M. Right, I've got that. Uh, what's the message? Well, I can't teach my classes for a few days because my back's bad again. Oh dear, a bad back. Yes. Can you ask Mr. Brown to tell the students to read their course book? They should start at page 58 and read to page 73. Okay, I've got that. Uh, anything else? Uh, yes. Tell Mr. Brown that I've been to the doctor and I can't come back to work until Tuesday. That's in the morning, is it? No, not until the afternoon. I'll be there for my first class. It starts at quarter past two. Right. I'll tell him. I hope you feel better soon. Thanks very much. Bye. Goodbye.
Now listen again. Waterhouse School, can I help you? Hello. Can I leave a message for Mr. Brown, please? Yes, of course. What's your name? David Graham. Could you spell your surname for me, please? Yes. It's G R A H A M. Right, I've got that. What's the message? Well, I can't teach my classes for a few days because my back's bad again. Oh, dear. A bad back. Yes. Can you ask Mr. Brown to tell the students to read their course book? They should start at page 58 and read to page 73. Okay, I've got that. Uh, anything else? Uh, yes. Tell Mr. Brown that I've been to the doctor and I can't come back to work until Tuesday. That's in the morning, is it? No, not until the afternoon. I'll be there for my first class. It starts at quarter past two. Right. I'll tell him. I hope you feel better soon. Thanks very much. Bye. Goodbye. All right, Tuanang, are you finished with your answers? Yes. This is the end of part right. four. Oh, thank you very much, lady. All right, so I want you to share your answers to me. Yes, okay. I will send you to All right, great. All right, so can you... Tell me what's the question here for number 16 and why do you have that kind of answer? Well, no, from, from, what is the from? Okay, where is the call from? Yes. Okay, or from whom the call is coming from? Okay, or from whom the call is from, call? I mean, like, where is the call the call from okay or who did call who leave the message all right is, is david Graham. yes the correct answer here is actually graham not graham <laughs> okay so that's a little bad okay next number 17. i bet back so he has a bad back or he has a backache. Okay, next, number 18. The student should read pages from the what? Student should read from 58 to 63. Okay, page 58. Actually, not 63, but 73. Okay. <laughs> You're short, okay? That's 73. Okay, number 19. David will return to school on Monday in afternoon. Okay, why in tw um your answer is twenty? <laughs> Where did you get twenty? Uh, it's Tuesday afternoon. All right. At what time? Is two thirty p.m. Okay, so the time is 2.30. Okay, not really 2.30, but quarter past 2 is 2.15 p.m. All right, what happened when Eng? <laughs> You're a little confused? I just didn't know it's about... I see. I see. Or maybe because that's uh, it's too loud in your area and you're not wearing, you're not wearing your headset. So you may not hear it clearly, but it's okay. You still did a good job. So good job. All right. So it's already time. So we can see each other next Friday. All right, Wanang? Yes, have a good day. Uh, you too. Have a good day too. Bye-bye now. Enjoy your holiday and summer vacation.